Norman Carr has become a legendary figure in Zambia since the 1950s and pioneered the concept of the walking safari. I think Kapani definitely follows his traditions and, and how he laid it out. Um, in the beginning, it started out much smaller, but he realized in the 50s that the animals and the wildlife can't survive without the local people benefiting and being involved. During his life in Africa, this extraordinary man initiated a visionary concept by involving the local people in wildlife conservation, enabling them to benefit financially. Norman Carr's philosophy was safari wakale. That literally means walking the traditional way. Basically sat down with, with the local chief of the area, Chief Nsefu, who's the paramount chief, and they set aside a portion of tribal land and Norman brought tourists in and that money went back into the local community. And Kapani is still very much run on that. We support and employ all, all Zambian guides. In his later years, Norman Carr built the famous Kapani Lodge, meaning literally, place of the Mapani trees, and established the region as a prime but carefully monitored tourist attraction. In 1956, Norman Carr retired as chief ranger, but was recalled just a year later to develop the Kafui National Park as its warden. It was during this time that Norman acquired two orphaned lion cubs, and having been transferred back to Luangwa to evaluate its tourism potential, he was able to live with the cubs, teaching them to hunt and fend for themselves. It was this story which gave rise to the book and inspired the film Return to the Wild. Norman Carr's legacy continues to this day, and indeed, the guides and rangers who will escort you on your safari have been both trained by him and inspired by his work. The book of nature is so vast. I've done it for 15 years, but there's always new things out there that I find really exciting. I think the guides are phenomenal and are so in tune with the bush and what the animals are doing. It's always different every time, and if you have that eye for new things, you always pick up things. Oh my God! We have people that keep coming back to Kepani, not purely because of the animals, but because of the people they have made.